Good morning. The time is now 612 on this Wednesday morning and we're looking at a healthy mix of sun and clouds to partly cloudy skies later on this afternoon, upper 70s to near 80 for a high and we do get to the low 80s tomorrow. But the caveat to that is we're going to add a little bit of moisture concentration when you have that southerly flow tapping into some of that gold moisture and with that light mixing in the atmosphere and partly cloudy skies, we could start to see fog develop during the overnight hours. So that could be something to watch watch for as you head out the door on your Thursday morning, but then we should see that fog mix out and we're going to be mainly looking at partly cloudy skies for your Thursday. But then as we go through the day Friday, we should be warmer, but we are going to be a bit on the windier side, especially in the Brazos Valley, and we're going to be getting to the upper 80s to near 90 for you guys as you head throughout the course of the weekend. Now you guys only have around a 20% chance of some of those scattered thunderstorms, but for us here in Central Texas, this could affect the boots and bandanas over at Chefs in Belton in later on Saturday evening, but we do have a 30% chance of thunderstorms both Saturday as well as Sunday before that system moves out throughout the course of the day Monday. So this will need some fine tuning. It is still four days out, but we are looking mainly dry right now. Just a few areas of cloud cover mainly west of I-35 over portions of McLennan and Bosque counties, but we're starting to see that southerly component of the wind start to really take shape in some of our eastern zones. But the cloud cover is mainly well off to our west over portions of the Texas Panhandle on through the Permian Basin on through places like El Paso. There were some scattered thunderstorms just to the south of Ciudad Juarez in Mexico, but as that system crossed the Rio Grande, it did fizzle out. But most of that upper level cloud cover is over portions of New Mexico as well. Now let's take a look downtown. You're starting to see a little bit of twilight here that's showing some of that upper level cloud cover, but we're hovering around those upper 50s and those clouds are starting to build on in to start because we have a little bit of that mixing with some of that moisture concentration starting to filter on into our atmosphere and that's allowing for some of that cloud cover. We're mainly hovering around those mid 50s in some of our northern zones along and north of US 84, upper 50s in places like Hillsboro as well as in Temple Belton right here in, in town and pretty much Cameron Buckholz Rogers st standing at that 59 degree mark as well. Highs are going to be in those upper 70s to near 80s. Places like Bryan College Station possibly could get to those lower 80s. Navasota, this particular model has you at 83, so it should be a very warm afternoon for you guys. However, we're going to be dropping to those low to mid 60s tonight, so not as cool as where we are right now. However, areas along the I-45 corridor could still drop to those upper 50s with that southerly breeze, and we could start off with a little bit of fog for your Thursday morning. And as a result of this, I'm going to give it a nine on the Jordan meter today because we're going to be really nice for the most part. May have a few clouds hanging around, but other than that, temperatures should hang around average. Tahitia, 